Hey, what's up? It's Andrew from Trail Runner Customs. Today we're going to be going over how to install the TRD Pro Grill for 2003 to 2005 Model 4 runners. So the install for this grill isn't all too difficult. The only tools you will be needing will be a 10 millimeter socket wrench, needle nose pliers, regular pliers, and a Phillips head screwdriver. The first thing you want to do is pop the hood, reach under, pull the latch, and push the hood up. Next, you want to locate the hood latch and take out the bolts connecting the latch to the grill. You don't want to touch any of the bolts that connect the latch to the hood, only the grill. Go ahead and grab your 10 millimeter socket and take these two bolts out. So after you have these two bolts out, you want to hold on to them and set them aside and let your hood latch dangle from the hood. Next, you want to locate the eight bolts that hold the grill itself onto the hood. There should be four on each side as seen here. Once you locate where they are, you want to go ahead and remove them with a 10 millimeter socket. Make sure you hold on to these because we're going to use them later. So once you have all eight nuts off, the grill still should hold itself in place by the bolts. You can then pull straight out to remove the grill. Now make sure to hold on to the grill because you're going to be needing some hardware from it for the new install. Now the first thing you want to do is to take out the four rectangular bolts across the top of the grill with your needle nose pliers. Just grab the edge of the bolt and wiggle a little bit. Now sometimes they can be difficult to get out so just make sure you take your time, wiggle back and forth and they should pop right out. You can set these first four bolts aside for later. Next you want to take off the metal bracket on the back of the old grill. Now this metal bracket is held in by five Phillips head screws that run along the bottom of the grill as seen here. So grab your screwdriver and go ahead and unscrew them. Once you have all five screws out, you can go ahead and set them aside for later. Now you should be able to grab and lift up on the bracket and it should pop right out of the old grill. Make sure to go ahead and grab the four rectangular bolts that were secured under the bracket. There are two on each side. After that, you are completely done with the old grill and you can set it aside. Now it's time to prep the new TRD Pro grill for installation. At this time, locate the bag of square bolts that come with the grill. Take your first four square bolts and go ahead and slide them in the sides of the new TRD Pro grill slots. There are two on each side. Now it's time to adjust the metal bracket so that it will fit correctly behind the TRD Pro grill. So the problem with the grill right now is that this tiny metal edge is going to end up hitting the side of the new grill. So what you're going to have to do is move it out of the way. Two ways you can do that are either to cut it or to bend it. But for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to bend it slightly out of the way. So what I did was I just grabbed my pair of pliers and just moved the metal tab outwards so it wouldn't hit the side of the grill. Moving this little metal piece has no effect on the function or strength of the metal bracket. It's just so it can fit behind the new grill. Also try not to bend the upper sides of the metal bracket because it might cause a slight fitment issue when you reattach the metal bracket to the grill. So now you're ready to put the metal bracket into the new TRD Pro grill. So once you drop the bracket into the new grill, you want to make sure that the metal pieces you moved do not touch the side of the grill. The bracket should fit nice and snug and you should see that the bolts on either side of the grill fit into the holes on the bracket. Now take your five Phillips head screws you got from the old grill and replace them in the five holes across the bottom of the metal bracket. Grab your Phillips head screwdriver and tighten them down. Once the metal bracket is secure along the bottom, you can then focus on putting the four square bolts into the grooves on the top of the grill. Slide the four square bolts into the notches on the top of the grill and they should have a nice loose fitment. After that, you're ready to install the grill into the hood. So what you do is you just take the grill and you slide the prong at the top of the grill along with the four bolts into the holes. And you're gonna have to kind of work it back and forth a little bit to make sure all the bolts go through the grill. And once the grill is in the right place, you can grab some of the nuts from the old grill and kind of halfway screw them on. That way the grill is tacked up and holds itself in place. So this is me showing what tacking up the grill with some of the nuts looks like. So I just kind of halfway screwed them on on each side to hold it steady. Also, all your bolts should be in the holes of the hood. 
Now it's time to take the rest of the nuts that you took off of the old grill and fasten them back to the screws in the hood. Grab your 10 millimeter socket wrench and tighten up all the bolts, but beware not to over tighten them because it could strip the square bolts and cause them to spin in the slits in the grill. If you do end up stripping some of the square bolts, then you can use the OEM rectangular bolts to prevent spinning in the cut in the grill. So once you have all of the bolts nice and snug, you can then move on to reinstalling the hood latch. Position the latch plate behind the grill and the metal bracket, just like it was before. You can then reinstall the screws with the screw heads facing out. And that's it. You've now successfully installed your Forerunner TRD Pro Grill. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, and if you have not yet picked up your TRD Pro Grill for your 4th Gen Forerunner, feel free to use the link in the description to pick one up today.